Hey, what's up? It is yours truly, Taz Daddy. I just want to take a couple of minutes and talk to you. Um, today's message is simply called, You Can't Take It Back. And the reason I wanted to do this message is because I remember as a kid, uh, when somebody said something really mean or hurtful, uh, the other person would say, Take it back. You can take it back. And he'd be like, I take it back. But the truth of the matter is, you can't take words back. Once you say them, they're out there. And, of course, it's Common Sense, which is the title of my new book, Common Sense Ain't Common, available right now. Book tab, tazdaddy.com. Go there now. Um, but, conversely, I think it's important for people to understand that some things you should never want to take back. Uh, as many people know, I've been through hell. I, I told you uh, last week and prior to that, several interviews, videos, things of that nature that I used to live in my Jeep. And um, I don't anymore. Praise God. But the thing of it is, I heard from an old friend uh, who I hadn't talked to uh, probably in a good two years. And she says, Taz, uh, my brother hit me up. He says, I've been watching you on YouTube and that, uh, you know, he's been checking you out and that your your videos are like, you can just see it changing you. And, you know, I know that certain things about me have changed and I understand that. I also understand that the most important thing is that you don't really look at the changes you've made uh, from any other perspective other than that of your own. You know, you look at yourself as yourself like me personally I don't like the sound of my voice I feel like it's way too high and I'm way too big to have such a high voice other people say oh man you got a great voice for radio I know why you do so well in radio and I know why you're such a great speaker because you've just got this amazing voice and it's it's it's, it's a gift and, and I'm like what are you talking about but okay whatever the case may be uh, I know that certain things about me are brand new certain things about me have changed and I feel like um, have changed for the better there's certain things I feel like I still need to work on and that's just the nature of a person who chooses to grow because there are people who just think that they've got it all together and they don't need any growth they don't need anything to empower them they have everything already figured out I don't ever want to be one of those people so I'm working towards being a better person but had I taken back the harrowing experience of the past mm, couple years I would have missed an incredible opportunity to share what God is able to do with somebody who doesn't have a mega church, who only has a grassroots following, who was absorbed in trying to be perfect. You know, I would have missed the opportunity to show people by example what God is able to do. And for me, I don't want to take that back. What I want to do is take that knowledge and move forward because people can see a progression in you. And so for those people who have issues, for those people who uh, certainly don't like certain things, and I'm just going to speak for me, I'm not going to speak for you, but for those people, I'll let my action speak. I let my action speak. And this Friday, I'm participating in something that I'm extremely thrilled about. And I'm going to show you the poster now. This is the Gilmore Henny Rally for Recreation Comedy Showcase and Benefit, starring my man Alex Thomas. Ta 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 delicious! Ta ta delicious! And uh, my homeboy Pierre, who has done one of the most amazing things I think anyone who's a black man in America or any man in the world has done. And. Uh, that's kissed Holly Berry in the mouth several times and gotten paid for it. <laughs> uh, seriously, this is going to be a great event. And basically what the Gilmore Henny uh, Foundation is about, they're taking parks in an area called Reading, Pennsylvania, and they're renovating them because if children have a place to go and they have a place that's safe and fun, they're able to be creative. They're able to enjoy themselves. And if they are able to put together a park, imagine what else they're able to do. 
but you have to show our children, like sometimes we all need to be shown, that things are possible. We just have to work towards them. It's amazing how many impossible things happen. Like right now, I'm sitting in front of a computer talking to thousands of people who are watching this. And shoot, YouTube's only six years old. Seven years ago, YouTube was impossible. It was impossible to turn around a kid who had been uh, abandoned, basically, turned uh, all around raped, abused, the whole nine, and Oprah Winfrey got her own network. So, you know, like my man Jay-Z says, difficult takes a day, impossible takes a week. And so if you're in the area, if you're in Philadelphia, Harrisburg, Pittsburgh, anything like that, come out to Reading, get a good laugh, come join me. I, I've got plenty of things to say to you guys, and it's going to be a great experience. So again, Gilmore Henny, Rally for Recreation, it is going to be awesome. Yes, and that's where it is. Sovereign Performing Arts Center, 136 North 6th Street, Reading, PA. Doors open at 7.15. Show begins at 8 p.m. It's going to be awesome because I'm hosting it. So that's something I'm definitely happy that I'm able to do. And I won't take it back. I mean it. I think Pierre has accomplished a great deal by kissing Halle Berry in the mouth. You want to get at me, you know what to do. Go to TazDaddy.com, order Common Sense Ain't Common, follow me on Twitter, at TazDaddy. If there's something you want me to talk about, let me know. But be mindful of what you put out, because you can't take it back. And sometimes that can be the best thing in the world. Peace.